guys, one day I will do a video where I look halfway decent instead of the ponytail and tank top look, but it's not today. Um, okay, so I am trying to decide what I'm going to do for the day today because <clears throat> tomorrow is Mark's 50th birthday bash. So um, I'm doing a blog post on it and decided, well, maybe I need to do a video on it. <clears throat> so I have not really um, fully woken up yet and I need to figure out how to hold my phone so that you guys aren't just seeing like this. Like I need to be, there we go, I need to be up here. Um, so anyway, there's a lot to do today. I have been planning this party for a year, so not constantly for a year, but um, last year, oh, let me think back, around this time last year, um, I decided that I wanted to have a big birthday celebration for him, um, so I went ahead and decided on the date you know, checked with all the VIPs of the family, make sure that this date would work for them. And then, um, I've got glare on my glasses and then, um, decided that having it at our house wasn't the best idea because it is August. It has been just horribly, horribly, horribly hot. And, um, we just don't have enough inside space to be able, that's not going to work either, um, to be able to accommodate the number of people that we are planning for, which is about a hundred. So, um, we live pretty close to an ATV park and they have a rather large party room. So I secured that, um, for tomorrow a year ago and secured the times and then um started looking for entertainment so we are going to have um you know an enclosed air conditioned venue with um and then we'll have a live band also so we are going to supply i'm going to supply the food my dad is smoking the uh pork butts or pork shoulders today so we have we will have sm smoked pulled pork and then I think I'll take you guys with me um, as I make the barbecue which is super simple um, and people request it all the time but it's literally two ingredients it's ground chuck and sweet baby ray's barbecue sauce it feeds a ton of people and is really good <laughs> um, so I have um, that pre-done I'll show you guys the decorations that I've made. I'll pop in some pictures of the invitations. Um, most of the things that I made, I made myself um, and I used Canva to make them. Um, Canva, if you don't know, is a free graphic design uh, program online, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A. And, um, I'm a graphic designer by trade anyway, um, so it's super easy for me, but if you're not, then Canva is super easy for anybody to use. So I just scoured the internet, um, found some inspiration on Pinterest, found a color scheme that would be, you know, easy to do, and then I created the Save the Dates, which I sent out this time last year, like, really early. Um, and I even said that when I sent them out, I said, I know this is crazy early, but everybody's schedules fill up really fast during the summer. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew, and I did it all digitally. I didn't print anything. Um, I texted, I emailed, I used Facebook messenger, and then I created an event on Facebook and invited people there about every month. I added an update in the event so that it didn't just drop off of people's radars and then um, about a month ago I sent out actual invites so um, I sent them the same way and then I also printed them because there's some people locally who just are not on social media um, and I wanted them to have 
a physical invitation. So <clears throat> that is how we got the word out. And then um, over about the last week, I've been prepping everything. I've been buying things over about the last three months just because some things are really expensive. Um, I got things from the Dollar Tree, I got things from Walmart, I got things from Amazon. I'm making a lot of the things. Um, so today I have to go and make the banners for the photo backdrop. Hi baby, hi. Um, so you guys are gonna come with me and we're gonna go into the big room and um, we're gonna work on the banners and then I've gotta start cupcakes. So I've got about 100 cupcakes to make. Um, so we better get started. Good morning and welcome to Party Central, which doesn't actually look like Party Central right now because I am trying to keep things decently cleaned up. Um, but this has been my workstation for the last couple of days and I'm getting ready to go back there pretty soon. Um, and then this is my organizational storage area at the moment. Um, so I have my sports wagon that usually lives in my vehicle because I'm pretty well going to be setting this up by myself, so I'm trying to make it as easy as humanly possible. So I have in this tote here, um, I'll move these things out of the way so that we can see each of them, but I have the um, cute little cupcake picks, and then underneath all of the center pieces, I have the balloons for the um, photo booth area. I have all of the plates. Um, I have the cake topper. I have the sash that he's going to wear um, because he, he's going to wear it. Um, and then I'll show you guys each of these little um, centerpieces. Okay, I'm going to roll this thing over here so I can not be leaned over. Okay, so the centerpieces are all out and then... Um, I'll just go through and show you what I have. Now, I was going to purchase from Amazon a party pack. Actually, I would have had to have purchased three of them, and they were about $30, $35 a piece that had um, napkins, forks, plates, um, and I think a couple of like streamer type things in them, and they were going to be $35. Well, on the day that I was shopping for all this, I went to Walmart, and they had the gold and black um, cutlery and then also plates and napkins for like a dollar a piece and there are 20 plates in here so I was able to get all of this for much less than I would have been able to get it on Amazon so just check your stores um, usually Walmart is pretty high on these things so I really thought that Amazon was going to be the better deal but it wasn't so I ended up saving myself like $60 by going ahead and price comparing, price comparing, um, and getting items there. I also got items from the Dollar Tree. There is a fly in here, and it's driving me crazy. Um, like this garland. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I am going to um, use it. So this is gold garland. Um, I found a couple of these cute pom-pom things that we're going to hang around. Um, I also found one of the, uh, you know, balloon arch garlands. So when I did homecoming or prom, I can't remember which, I think it was, I think it was prom. Uh, when I did prom, when I was teaching at my old school, um, it was going to be so expensive to make one of the balloon art arches. So I just did it myself and it turned out really great. So that's what I'm gonna do with this for the photo background. And then of course, we have to have the giant 5-0 balloons. And then I also found this cute little thing. Um, so it's happy birthday, but it's like, it's all in one. So you don't have to do each letter. So that'll be a time saver for me. Um, and then these are the extra balloon strips uh, to make the archway. So my plan is to have a photo backdrop. Um, I used to do photography, so I have all of that. So um, to have that set up to where we can either take pictures with Mark, 
um, sorry, or that um, people can take pictures like selfies and have a nice background. So this is the little sash that he's going to wear. His sister got him a birthday shirt that he's going to wear. And then this one, and it says elderly and awesome. And it's sparkly, which he will hate, but you know, <clears throat> he's going to do it anyway. And then this is the cake topper. And then these are the little picks. Um, some of them say uh, happy 50th. Some of them say straight out of 1973. Some of them just say 50. So it's a variety of cute little sayings. <clears throat> So that is all in the cart, ready to go, super easy for me to access. <clears throat> and then over here are the two big centerpieces, and I'll grab those out so I can show you. Before I show you that, um, I knew I was going to make some centerpieces, and I was going to buy like popsicle stick type things. Hold on, let me zoom out. Or um, like cake pop sticks. So these are the balloon sticks that like you put the three balloons in there and then they're on a stick um like this and they had these you guys there are 20 sticks in here and they had these for a dollar 97 so i was like holy crap i mean they're super sturdy like it's plastic they're super sturdy so i bought four of these Okay, so less than $10, so I got 20, 40, 60, 80, 80 of these sticks, and that is what I used um, to make, you know, to have the sturdy sticks for, um, for the centerpieces, and it was so much less expensive, and they're so much sturdier, so that was an awesome find. So look for those if you're going to be doing any kind of like lottery ticket basket or anything like that um, because that was a really 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 good buy all right so here is one of the large center pieces let me so um everything that i got here except for the sticks i got at the dollar tree so um this little wire basket and i'm probably going to um put white tissue paper in this so that it is a little bit more decorative and probably weave some of the gold and um, black uh, ribbon through here but I'm not sure yet and then I got a um, just gallon pitcher and I was like well I'm gonna go ahead and get a pitcher instead of a vase because we're currently you know, outfitting our rental spaces. So this could easily go into the one of the rental spaces. And then inside, I bought some of these balloon weights. So I have one on the bottom and then I went ahead and put tissue paper in and then put all of my sticks in and then put another one at the top. So it's double stabilized and everything isn't flopping around. So here's the basket. It's called um, 50 Years Elderly and Awesome Survival Kit. So that's just one of those sticks. And then I have a 50 on the back. And then I just made a bunch. <clears throat> I made a loop and then kept tying uh, the ribbon to that loop and then went through and curled everything. So it looks like one of the... Um, you know, gift tags that you can buy, but I did not buy it. So on to the different sticks. I have a variety of fun things like this pill container. Um, it actually was one large one that you could separate. And so I just taped those on and I didn't want regular tape. So I actually had some gold honeycomb looking, um, oh gosh, washi tape. And that's what I use to tape things on. So we've got the um, pill containers, uh, oatmeal bath, a magnifier with a light, um, pain relief patches, reading glasses, gas X, Effordent. Um, those are the nose strips for snoring, which he actually does need, God love him, and so do I probably, and then pain relief balm. So that's what's in these. 
um, and I have two of them. They pretty well have the same thing on this one. Um, instead of doing, like, instead of buying two of the balms, I just carefully open the balm out of the box and then use the box in this centerpiece and then the same thing with the Gas X. So these are going to go on the two um, bar style tables. So I'll have that in the middle and then I'll have one of the smaller centerpieces on either side. Um, and then there will be a small centerpiece on each of the um, guest seating tables as well. So let's go check these guys out. <clears throat> so I definitely wanted to have um, cute decorations and cute and cheeky decorations, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money because um, all of these little things, even if you're not spending a ton of money, they still end up being really expensive. So um, I just went and found different sayings or came up with different sayings that I liked. So this one is kiss your 40s goodbye and then i have hershey's kisses pre-measured out um, to fit in the box so that when we set it up we just have to take them out and dump them in there and then these are little chinese food boxes that i found at the dollar tree they came a dollar for or dollar 25 for a set of four so i just put them together and then i taped them so you can see on the inside here let me get my man hand out of the way I just taped them on either side and then on the bottom as well. So the stick is in there and it's held securely and everything is super cute. So I have uh, three of the Kiss Your 40s Goodbye. I have two of the You Make 50 Look Hot. Um, I have, now this one initially when I saw it said um, 40s suck. And I'm like, uh, or 50s suck. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> so um, my husband really likes scratch off lottery tickets. So I did 50 is lucky, not sucky. And I've got the dum-dums in there. And then <clears throat> the next one is, um, it took 50 years to look this good. And we've got Rolos. And I ran out of Rolos. So uh, the last one has kisses in it. <clears throat> and then this one is just... M&M's and um, old age pills so this one will go somewhere I'm not exactly sure where so that is the decor again um, I just made I made everything on Canva printed it out I did not laminate these but I did laminate some of the other things so let me grab those all right, so this is the washi tape that I've been using to put everything up. Um, it actually has worked out really great, and I it's it's Duck brand, and I probably got it at Walmart a really long time ago. Um, and then I've been using these um, Scotch laminator sheets, the three milliliters or mils, three not milliliters. <clears throat> and so when I was when I was doing the invitations and whatnot, I just utilized some of the graphics and made them bigger and then um, printed them out and laminated them. So here's one of the signs that's going to go up on the doorway so that people will know where to come in. So I just laminated those. And then here was the initial birthday um, save the date invitation. So I knew that I wanted to go with... Um, gold and black and white. So I just went into Canva. I uh, found the calculations on Google and then just put them together in this kind of um, montage, I guess, in this design. Uh, so this was, I made this, this was not available as a design on Canva. So I just utilized the fonts and the colors and the graphics on Canva to make this. Uh, and then I just utilized these same fonts and colors and graphics throughout the different signs and um, items that I was making. So these things will go in the venue somewhere um, to indicate where it is that people need to come to. And then this is my most favorite thing, you guys. I'm going to make like pennant banners, but I made them with Mark's head. 
<laughs> so this is super fun. My husband would never wear a hat like this, so it's hilarious. But anyway, I just took a picture of him and then I used the graphics in Canva to find the party hat and a separate graphic to find the little 50 button. So I'm getting ready to, I think I have the whole punch in my pocket. Yeah. If I can get to it. So I have this hole punch here and I'm just gonna punch two holes through the hat and then use the gold and the black ribbon to create a banner. Um, so I have this one And then, this is an inside joke between us and a few of our friends, <laughs> but then I have this one, so just a funny little hat. So this is going to be super cute when it's done. So I just went through and hole punched in two separate areas, so they're going to kind of hang kind of wonky, and then I've got my two ribbons. So I want for the ribbon to go behind. So I'm just gonna pop that through. Maybe. Try and keep them in the same space there and then pop that through. There we go. And then I'll just slide it on down the line. And after I get them all on here, I'll go back through and then tape the back um, where the ribbon is so that it doesn't slide around. Um, but I just have to get them all in here first. Okay, so it's going pretty easy. The only thing that you have to remember is that you actually have to go ahead and measure out the length of your ribbons before you start doing this because you can't put these on like and then you can't put these on and then go ahead and tape them like it say that I want my first ribbon to start a foot and a half out or my first little guy here to start a foot and a half out I can't leave this guy here like this guy has to keep moving down <clears throat> so um you just have to kind of put all of your little banner pennants on the ribbon first and then go back and space them out after they're all on i know that sounds kind of weird but like you can't get one past the other one to make it go further because there's going to be one in the way so Okay, so let me see if I can get you a picture of it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like so far. And then here's the other one. So like I just have to keep moving these guys down to make room for the other ones. And so it's going to look super cute. <laughs> Alright, so I'm to the last one here. It's, they're a little bit difficult. Um, so what I did on this one is I just um, looped the end. Like I pulled out how much space I wanted for the end of um, the banner. And then I just looped it back through that hole. And then I'm kind of making a knot. That way this one is not going to move. <clears throat> so then I know that I have this much space that I can use to tie and that this guy is going to stay right where he needs to stay. And then um, if I can have them not be tangled, which right now they are. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so then once that one's done, I can just go ahead and just slide these guys down and put them in position. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all these guys in position and then I'll show you guys the final um, pen and banner. Alright, I'll have to adjust the spacing between this one and this one, but here they are um, finished. So it'll just be able to hang like that. Um, so it does look pretty cute. Um, I think that's going to be great. Alright, this is what it looks like from the outside. And then... 
and go in. Again. We have our table. Mark's going to be wearing the sash. A place where people can leave a message. A place for cards. Because we said no birthday gifts. But people don't listen. And then we have all of our centerpieces. We have the photo backdrop. I can't wait for you guys to see that. There are little marks with party hats. So I need to fix that, yeah. There we go. So that's where they can go to take pictures with him. And then we slide around and we have all of our tables that have all of the centerpieces on them. And then here's the cake table. So the cupcakes are not here because it's pretty hot, but I'm going to put cupcakes on top of each layer and then we have the holy crap you're old sign and then I have all sorts of cupcake picks here to put in the cupcake sign and then the cash bar has all of these little marks. Here is my map layout. And then this is where the food's gonna go. So I think it looks um, really good. Here's the other bar with the other elderly and awesome survival kit. And then back behind there, we have buckets where we'll have water and ice. I will forever love this cake. How cute is it? And look at the little army of poo emojis. Happy birthday! the night or the day after the party and it went it was a smashing success I have some um, footage that I'll insert here in a little bit and um, so it was a great time all of the decorations ended up being really great I had a ton of candy left over uh, and I'm going to take that to my classroom and um, we are kind of recovered um, my feet are still hurting from all of the setup, but it, yeah, it was a really great time and Mark had a good time and that is what was most important. So I will insert some footage and um, I hope that you guys enjoy the video and I'll maybe end with Mark saying if he had fun or not. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, thanks for joining and I'm going to have some breakfast now. See you later.
Hey, babe. Hey. Um, so how was last night? It was very fun. It was very fun. Very you had good. a good time? Yep. What was your favorite part? <laughs> uh, just getting to see people I haven't saw for a while. Okay. I'm glad you had a good time. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> you guys, that's his excited face, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs>